is your 12 minute at home Pilates body, full body sculpt and burn. No equipment needed and I can guarantee you're gonna feel the most incredible burn and you're gonna fall in love with Pilates. Now you can shop this outfit right here really, really easily guys. All you gotta do is click. Before we get started, take a deep breath, enjoy, set your intention for this workout and let's do this. Okay, you're gonna start off by coming down onto your forearm. Core nice and tight, shoulders relaxed. Your leg is hip height, you're gonna take it forward and then slow and controlled back into neutral. Amazing, you have 30 seconds on each exercise. This is full body. It is gonna sculpt, it is gonna burn. You are gonna feel strong, you're gonna feel amazing. into the glute muscles, but you wanna work on that core as well. Always have it engaged. Belly button back to the spine, rib cage down and breathe. Amazing, from there you're gonna take the foot behind the knee, slight bend in that underneath leg. You're gonna come down and up. advanced if you want to, take that arm up. Try and keep those hips nice and stable. Amazing, that underneath leg is gonna be slightly bent. You're hooking behind, open and close. level that suits you, okay? Beginners, keep that hand down for a bit of support. Okay, remember we have that open, straighten, bend, close.
your legs, your glutes should be feeling awake now, okay? <laughs> if they weren't a few minutes ago, five minutes ago, they should be awake now. Amazing. From there, lying down again, you're gonna take that leg forward. Toe down, down, heel up, can't get my words out. Lift and lower. Amazing, you want this leg as far forward as you feel you can, okay? Amazing, it's just a 12 minute workout. If you can, come further forward. Come on, you know what you're capable of. Great work, both feet come up now. We're gonna open, remember that little flick. Touch the feet, touch the knees. Really want to try and control these movements, okay? I know it isn't easy, but try and make them as smooth as possible. Amazing, we are sticking with the glutes. We're now going to come up. We're going to come into what we call mermaid position. So the underneath leg is gonna come forward, the upper leg is slightly back. You're now gonna flex that foot, you're gonna lift and push back. Amazing. Now this is gonna really isolate the glutes. It is incredible for working those glute muscles. Amazing, keep it in hover. Now tap down, up, push back, forward. Down, up, push back, forward. Amazing work. Try not to fall down onto your side here, okay? You're staying up. Ten seconds left, nearly there. Amazing, changing onto that other side. Take those legs round into that mermaid position, okay? All right, nice and upright, take that leg back, and it's just a push back. Flex the foot. Amazing, keep breathing. I know how much this hurts. This is like isolating those glute muscles, those booty muscles, like, honestly, this is one of my favorite exercises for it. Okay, from there, tap it down, up, push back, forward, down, let's go. Push back, forward, down, up. Good work. Amazing. Try and keep those movements nice and smooth. You've got this, guys. Incredible, you're now gonna come down into lying, okay? We're doing a little bit of ab work, some of my favorite Pilates exercises. We're gonna go with a controlled roll down. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, one vertebrae at a time. Lower on down, okay? From there, double leg tabletop. And we're just gonna start off with a hold, bringing yourself up into a crunch. Now, just while these 30 seconds end, you're gonna take your legs out a bit and in a bit. Amazing. Now, while you're doing this, I want to make sure that your lower back stays flat in the mat. It isn't leaving the floor, okay? Come back to 90 degrees, hover those arms, pump them up and down, Pilates hundreds. Breath in for five, and breath out for five pumps. Okay, breath in, two, three, four, five, and out. And in, two, three, four, five, and out. Amazing work. Take those fingertips by the temples, Single leg stretch, lift, lower, and in onto that other side. Okay, if your neck is sore, lower your head down, but don't let your lower back leave the mat, okay? Try and keep these knees at 90 degrees, no closer. Amazing, keeping both legs up if you feel you can, or drop one down. From here, the right leg is gonna straighten out, lift, like in a reverse bicycle. Beginners, you're here, and 
down if it feels too much, okay? Control the movement. Breathe. Try and keep this leg at 90 degrees. As soon as it comes closer, it makes it easier. You want to challenge yourself. Keep it at 90 degrees, knee and hip. Great, knees into your chest. Just have a little moment before we go into scissors. Okay, same again, double leg tabletop, 90 degrees at the knees and the hips. Okay, tap the toe down and back in. Breath out, tap down, breath in, come back up again. Exactly the same principles. You want that lower back flat in the mat, you are in imprint. That core is engaged, the rib cage is down. Okay, we're gonna take it up a level if you want to. Straighten the legs out, pull in, one, two, change leg. If you wanna stay with that last level, you can, just tapping the toes down. Great work, guys. Amazing, bring yourselves up into sitting now. I want you to spread the fingertips. I want you to tuck your toes under and you're gonna start off just with a little hover, one inch from the floor. Lift those knees. Okay, from there you're gonna try and take your left knee to your right hand and tap. Then right to left. Under 10 seconds left. You can do this. Now we're gonna hold, just a tiny little hold. Pull that core in tight. Two, one, and done. Well done guys, you made it, that was amazing.